quiet day expected for the president, who begins a 10-day summer vacation at his nearby Trump National Golf Club in Bedminster. But it was anything but quiet last night at that raucous rally in Wilkes Bar, Pennsylvania, where the president was encouraging support for Republican Congressman Lou Barletta, who you saw in that montage, he's running for Senate this fall. This president spoke for more than an hour last night, criticizing what he called fake news for underplaying the success of his summits with Putin and Kim Jong-un. He said the press would have preferred a boxing match with the Russian leader. He talked about how the polls were wrong in 2016. He called them suppression polls designed to keep people from voting. And he celebrated the economy with the market booming and unemployment low. Since the election, we've added a number that nobody would have believed, 3.7 million new jobs, including close to 400,000 jobs in the manufacturing world. He also talked last night about the importance of building that wall and keeping dangerous gang members out of the U.S. and supporting ICE. Uh, and he is pledging to do just that, Sandra. And Rick, things got pretty heated yesterday at that White House briefing. What happened? Yeah, Sarah Huckabee Sanders squaring off with Jim Acosta over a question he asked about whether or not the press is the enemy of the people. Listen. Uh, the media has attacked me personally on a number of occasions, including your own network, said I should be harassed as a life sentence. As far as I know, I'm the first press secretary in the history of the United States that's required Secret Service protection. Now, the media the continues to ratchet Apple's up the verbal assault the against yeah. the president and everyone in this administration. And certainly we have a role to play, but the media has a role to play for the discourse in this country as well. A really uncomfortable White House press briefing yesterday afternoon. And then uh, the president also went on Twitter about this after his daughter Ivanka was asked the same question about whether or not the press was the enemy of the people. The president tweeted, they asked my daughter Ivanka whether or not the media is the enemy of the people. She correctly said no. It is the fake news, the president said, which is a large percentage of the media that is the enemy of the people. One example that he used during his comments last night, Sandra, was we talked about the Queen. He said the press reported that he was late. He said, in fact, he was 15 minutes early and that he didn't overstay his welcome. He said he spent about an hour with the Queen because they got along so well. 